Good job, very well done. You need to put the <laughs> okay. I gotta put this stuff on your ear and put your dress on. Good job, ladybug. <laughs> okay, let's show Kaylin how to wipe your ears out and clean your face every day. Okay, I already brushed your teeth, but I'm going to show you how um, I brush your teeth, too. Put your towel there. So, um, you want to keep the ears dry. Let's see if they come in. But you just want to keep any... Um, I got something on. You just want to keep any dirt out of the ear. Um, so, you just... I take a baby towel. Come here, boo. Let's, let's see right here. Oh. And um, you just want to clean out like all of that. You be gentle, but you clean out that part. And then inside the ear, you don't want to really stick your finger in there, but you want to clean that. So you just take the towel and get in there. Okay. And then with the toothbrush, I already brushed your teeth, so I'm not going to put no more toothpaste on there. But you put a little bit on there and smooth it in. And then let's see, look, boom. I usually grab the mouth like right here so you can see the teeth and just in circles around those teeth, just like you would brush your teeth. And she's going to get used to it. You have to just keep everything, anything you do consistently, they get used to. Uh, 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 uh. So another thing is like, I uh, uh, is no. And if she do good, then you say good girl. So like, good girl, I, uh, good girl, good girl, see. And then uh, let's see this side. No, this teeth, you want to do a good girl. There you go. You want to open the mouth, get in the back teeth, just like you would clean your teeth. What else? That's it. Oh, her ear medicine. Let's work on that. This is um, to keep her ears from getting yeast. She'll only need this for a little while. They have like, just like babies are born, they're born with like cradle scab and um, this, the old baby skin come off. So, uh -oh. So it's got a little point on there. I just put it right here at the top and then rub it down. You get it all in the ear. Yep. And the other side, put a little dry weight lady. I talk to them as I'm doing everything with them. So it's not like, um, they don't know what's going on. You want to wash your hands after that. I talk to them and I also, it's gonna be okay, you good, you could do it, you a big girl, you talk to them because they read off of your energy. So if your energy is of a relaxed state, then they'll be relaxed. Um, if I'll show you how to cut their nails and stuff. I've already cut her so you can't really see, but you can watch YouTube videos too, but they can bleed, so you wanna be careful with that. Um, and then this hair under the paws, she's a puppy, so um, I don't want to cut it now, but um, on the Shih Tzu's, I keep it cut because it can get tangled under there. Um, if she's not going to be going outside, I would say don't let her walk outside in the grass until she is um, probably like five or six months because then she would have had all of her shots and she her, the flea medication would be in her good enough. See, because if she get fleas, they chew at them and then they end up ingesting it and the flea become hookworms, roundworms, and that's, that could kill them. That's what Ding was sick from when he came while he was so little. Um, and it could cause them to be malnutritioned even if they're eating. So 
that's a couple of things I wanted to kind of show you how to take care of her. When you wash her with the shampoo, you only need to use a little bit. She's so tiny. And um, wash her one time. Make sure you get all the soap from up under the arm because that's where it itch at. And she had like a little something that healed under there. So make sure the soap don't get... Um, uh, rinse the soap from under the arms because when you pour the water over you rinse it with the shower the water go down and it kind of settles under there so the soap can cause it to be itchy what else i wanted to tell you uh, maybe as she get older if you want to learn how to groom her you can come over and i'll teach you how to groom her another thing is no water in the ears because that causes the ear infection so when you i usually just wipe her face but also her eyes runny it's a normal thing once she get used to eating the good food, because it hadn't even been a week yet, no telling what she was eating. But that's that's from having the bad nutrition. But you just, every day, it's kind of like having a baby. You want to clean her face, clean her ears, brush her teeth. You want to do those things like you would a real baby, because they're just babies. They don't know how to clean themselves yet. That's something that the mom would do for them. I, I even, when she come back from potty and I clean her bottom with like a puppy wipe or just a, a wet towel, the puppy wipes are kind of made for that, cleaning their face, ears, and bottoms. Just keep her clean because she'll be laying around on the bed or whatever. You just want to make sure that um, she is clean as she could be. I'm thinking about cutting this little yellow part off her tail. It'll grow back. So what I think this is from is um, she probably lived in a crate. And that's just yellow hair. That's It's stained. It's not, it's not pee. I, she didn't have a few baths. It's just stained. Um, it'll grow back. I'm just going to trim it at the end. It'll grow back. And, and, um, I didn't cut it here. I've been using like a whitening shampoo on there cause I didn't want to cut her hair down like that, but, um, it'll grow back. Let me see top. Everything you do with them has to be consistently. You do it every day. So if you want to teach her how to, she knows how to sit for a treat and stuff like that. You just want to practice everything every day. Like with a, when you learn something, you want to do the same thing with a puppy. You want to just like repeat, repeat, repeat consistently. And like I said, no is I or no good girl and then good girl you always want to reward when they're doing good so good girl or a treat will um will encourage them to do the right thing so like if she's biting you say ah leave it good girl good girl you see it's it's really that simple she already got the basics of it so all right, so that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you like a quick bathing thing on her. I should have recorded it, but it's other videos on our Facebook page of her taking a bath. So, all right, we'll see you guys later. Hey, I love you, new sisters. I can't wait to be with you guys.